Hello and welcome to this session on how to use Selenium 3. Today we are going to learn how do we add Selenium 3 jars, how do we add Geeko driver and then we will run our test with Selenium 3. We will also look at some useful tips and the interview section. Let us begin. The first step is we have to add Selenium 3 jars. Let us go to our Eclipse and in our last session we have created this project and we have added selenium 2 jars let us now go to our browser and i am going to seleniumhq.org website and here go to the download section inside the download section you will find this download version you can download what is the latest version you have i will download this 3.0.1 and i am just cancelling this download because i already have it let me go to my download section and I have this jar already downloaded I will copy it from here I will go to my lip folder do a right click and let me add another child folder and I will name it as selenium 3 jars and inside this jar inside this folder I will add this new jar so you can see this jar is now here and now we have to add this particular jar to our project and before we do that let us remove the selenium 2 jars from referenced libraries you can do a right click go to build path remove from build path and now you can see you are getting errors because we do not now have any selenium jar in our project so now we will add selenium 3 jars right click build path add to build path and now we have selenium 3 jars added to our project let us try to run our project now do a right click run as java application and you can see there are these errors it is saying the path to the driver executable must be set webdriver.geco.driver so we have to add this driver path and that is what step number two is we have to add Geeko driver to our project let us see how do we do that if you go to this error log inside this error there will be an information on the latest version can be downloaded from this particular website so let us go here on my browser I am going to this website and here you can see all the versions of Geeko driver you can go to the latest version and then download the zip file according to your operating system if you are on windows you can download win32 or win64 and to check which version you should download you can go to your windows do a right click go to properties and here you can see the operating system information so this one is 64 bit and in case you are on Mac you can download this Mac OS I am on Mac I will download this but even if you are on Windows uh, you will follow the same process so let me show you I have already downloaded this Geeko driver and it is here I will again copy it from here go to my project in Eclipse inside my lip folder I will again create a new folder and name it as Geeko driver I will say finish and then I have to add the Geeko driver executable within this folder and it is here and now I have to set the system property so we have to use this statement system.set property webdriver.geeko driver and the location of the driver executable so let us do that I will say system dot set property and I will use this key string value and the key is webdriver dot geeko driver webdriver dot geeko dot driver and the value is the location of your geeko driver exe file so 
my Gecko driver is here I will copy the location so to copy the location on Mac I have uh, pressed command I to go to this uh, properties uh, window you can also do a right click go to properties and you will get the same window and you can copy the location from here okay so I will keep the location here okay and now I should be able to run my program again I will do a right click run as Java application and you can see there is some error again and it is saying the driver is not executable so the location that I have given for my Geekko driver it is saying it is not executable in case you get the same error what you can do is instead of copying it within this project you can go to this location physically so I will go to this folder on my system so I am pressing command shift G on Mac if you are on Windows you can directly go to the location and here what I am going to do is I will copy this Geekko driver that I have downloaded and paste it here again and I will say replace and now you can see it is an executable file so I will also refresh my project and now let me run it again right click run as Java application and see what is happening is it is not giving me the earlier error but still it is not opening the browser and what it has done is actually it has opened three Firefox instances but has not gone to this particular website if this happens with you also what you can do is you can get the latest Firefox uh, version so you can go to your browser and say download Firefox and any site you can go I am going to file hippo you can download the latest and the stable version of Firefox you can find the latest version here and the older versions here uh, in my case I have already downloaded some of the versions I can show you I will go to my applications and you can see these Firefox versions are there so what you can do is you can use this system.set property webdriver.firefox.pin and the location of the Firefox exe so let me do that system.set property webdriver.firefox.bin and then the value so I will show you both in case of Mac and Windows if you are on Mac uh, you will go to your applications and the Firefox that you have downloaded or installed right click show package contents go to contents Mac OS and this Firefox pin we have to add so I will copy this path here and this is Firefox dash bin in case you are on Windows you can go to your C drive program files Mozilla Firefox and here you will find firefox.exe so you can get this location so as of now I have given the location on my system and let me just save and run it again I will say run as Java application now you can see it is opening Firefox and it is going to that particular website and then it will close the browser so yes it went to seleniumhq.org and the net connection is a bit slow and now it has closed the browser so now this is working fine so this is what you can do and also another tip is if you are giving this absolute paths here absolute location in case you are taking your project to any other location then these locations will not work so one of the uh, good ways of doing this is see uh, we have to give the location of Geekko driver which is already within our project so we can get the relative path 
and you can get the path and location of this project by the system dot get property system dot get property and the property you have to get is user dot dir and let me just save this to any string I will say project location and this project location will be the location of our project so if I right click go to properties I will get this particular location until selenium test in this particular string so after this selenium test I can just write down whatever location I want to go so I will say this project location here and plus whatever I have to add after selenium test so until selenium test it should take it relatively and then I will add the rest of the location let us just see if it is running I will say right click run as Java application and yes it is able to run it is going to the browser and it is opening that particular website so this is running fine so this is how you can make your uh, locations as relative so this is how we have added Geekcode driver let us go to step number three we have to run the test with selenium 3 which we have already done in the helpful tips section the first tip is always run automation on a separate browser version like we have already done in our case and the reason you should do this is you want to keep a primary browser for your own use where you will be adding bookmarks you will be adding some executable plugins you will be maintaining the history and doing the updates etc so it is always recommended that the automation that you run is on a separate browser version we have to use selenium 3 with the latest and the stable version of firefox and in that case even any other browser you have to use the latest and the stable version the third tip is you have to use java 8 or higher for selenium 3 if your operating system is on any version of java less than java 8 selenium 3 might not work let us go to our interview section and today we are going to see what is web driver so this is a very common question in interviews about web driver and this is also one of the most misunderstood concepts so web driver is actually and technically an API interface and this interface has all the methods that can be invoked on a browser so that all the browser classes implement the same interface let us go to this website I am saying web driver documentation and here I am going to this website Java API and here you can get the documentation on all the packages and classes of selenium and here in this left section you can see all the classes and whatever uh, option you see in italics that is an interface so let us search for our web driver I will go to the end search for web driver and you can see this is the web driver here and you can see it is an italic so that means it's an interface you can also click here and you will see this is an interface web driver and all known implementing classes are this chrome driver and firefox driver and every other browser class and this interface has methods like get string that we have already used in our project and all other methods like this you, you can see all the methods here and the reason this web driver is used as an interface is all the methods or all the functions that you can invoke on your browsers are there in this interface and all the browser classes implement this interface so that when you do a get you will use the same function whether you are using Firefox or Chrome or Safari so that you can write your program or your framework once and then you can use the same code with any other browser so this is the website that you can go and I hope this concept of web driver is very clear now let us do a very quick recap 
Today we learned how do we add Selenium 3 jars. We added Kiko driver and then we ran our test with Selenium 3. And in these three easy steps we have learned how do we use Selenium 3 in our project. I hope this session was very useful to you. Thanks for watching.